Now I'm here with Muffin, Muffin, Muffins. Muffins and Matt to have a quick chat. Now uh, hold on, we can't go past that name. It can't be a real one. What were your parents thinking? Tell me about that. Oh, it wasn't my parents, but um, year eight at high school, I was quite a chubby kid, and um, I was always known for having the meat pie and the chico roll cruising down to the group. So. Everyone called me Muffins and it sort of stuck. Everybody's parents called me that. Everybody at work calls me that. Pretty much the only people that call me Ashley is my parents. So. And are you okay with Muffin? I am okay with it. It could be worse. It could be. It could be. It could be. It is when people say Muffin because it sounds a little bit... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially as other guys in the bathrooms late at night. You've got to be aware of those sort of things. Now tell us guys, tell us a little bit about Electric Lemonade. Um, what's your genre? You know, what sort of music? How many of you? Give me a bit of a rundown. Yeah, well, we're a five piece funk band. Uh, uh, Style, we, I suppose we'd say it's called uh, Funk Rock Grooves. So, um, I don't know, we just like to funk out and have fun. We're just, yeah, loving it at the moment. Yeah. Absolutely loving it. And um, obviously just debuted only December of 2010, so you guys haven't actually been around for long. Um, you know, how are you finding that being new to the industry? Um, we're just kind of feeling our way around, having fun with it. Um, we really enjoy what we do. So we're just trying to get, I mean, we're from the Gold Coast, so we've had pretty good um, time down there and we're sort of branching out up here to Brizzy, so um, we're having a lot of fun up here. We've done it recently, so yeah, really enjoying it. Just, yeah. just loving it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically I'm hearing it, so five, five guys in the band and five 
really wacky names. Um, I've been doing a little bit of research, a little bit of stalking, a little bit of googling, same, same. Tell me, um, what's the five names and what's that all about? <laughs> well, we got Muffins, our got singer, so that's his name. Um, I'm called The Falcon. It's just a derivative of my surname, and it sounds pretty dynamic, I guess. <laughs> I like birds too, so... Isn't The Falcon when you get hit in the face with a, like a football? <laughs> yeah, I had a few of those in high school. Um, but that's behind me. No, it's purely... The, I guess the cool factor. <laughs> yeah, um, not necessarily the cool factor. I suppose it's just something that sort of, I don't know, naturally happens in a group of boys. You know what I mean? You you give each other silly, wacky names, and it's just it's sort of just caught, and it, we've just gone along with it. You know what I mean? It's that whole fun vibe. And what else? What else do you guys have? I've seen something about the mystery man or something. mystery man. I haven't heard that one before. We have we've got Funky G. Funky G. Yeah, there's Funky Funky Jake. And um and burn. What do we call burn? Cheeky B. Cheeky B. Funky and cheeky and burn and Jake are all over the place. Now, did you guys know each other before you formed a band, or is that what's brought you together? Or well, there's actually this thing on the internet. It's called um, or well, we say it a lot. It's called we say the five strangers united by the funk because literally we were just five strangers. Um, it's one dude, Jake, the guitarist. Actually, he's the um, he's sort of the nucleus, I suppose. The nucleus. Yeah. Wow, great work. Thank you, thank you. No, I thought well, I could throw that in. You did. You really did. You got it in there. Like no matter what, we got that word in there. Now the sort of blurb I've gone is five individuals united by the cosmetic collective boogie. Now, um, who came up with that? Come on, who's who's writing these scripts? That would have been G. He's yeah. the uh, keyboard player. He's just a, a terrific-minded dude. He's just always on top of things, and yeah. So what, he puts out, uh, what, an ad in like Seek or Career One or something and you guys all get together or how, I still don't understand how you got together. Well, um, there was the, the three of them, um, Burn, G and Jake, and they sort of, because um, Jake and Burn met and then they um, caught up with G somehow, I'm not actually sure, I think it was through work or something. Um, and then I used to work with Jake at a, a music shop, we were both in the CD section, so, and then I finally organised to um, have a jam with them all. And then we were going to write for a while, and then we needed a, a singer. And um, I met Jake at a party. Yeah. I met Jake at a party when we were drunk together and uh, busting out tunes. Yeah. Like, hey guys. Playing guitar, and I was just singing along, and he was like, dude, we're, we've got a band, we need a singer. And I was like, I'm a singer, I need a band, let's get together. And we had a jam, and funk is history. It's the right place at the right time. So, what, um, what makes Electric Lemonade, I guess, a little bit different to all the other bands out there? Obviously, you've got a this cruisy sort of fun feel going on, you know, did you think that that's obviously helping you in the industry? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, funk's got that, you know, it's got that vibe about it, that happy, dancey vibe, and that's that's what we all love. We love that crowd response of people, you know, getting up and dancing and having fun with our music, so that's that's what we're going for, yeah. Excellent, and is that what helped you to win Loud Fest this year? Tell me about that. Definitely, it was, well, I mean, Loud Fest is, um, is known for sort of like a, a rock sort of festival, a rock competition. But because so like Battle of the Bands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But because we were a funk band, it was something so different, I suppose. And um, you know, we, the, the crowd was sort of you know standing there watching the rock bands and stuff. But when we played, you know, everyone everyone was just dancing and having fun, which was really good. And obviously, that's obviously helped the career. So um, you know, like I said, it's rapidly getting heaps of support, and everyone's following you guys. So what's in store for 2012? Uh, we just want to we really want to concentrate on doing a, a really good disc. Yep. That's the um, that's that's the first move. And then from there, we're gonna look at doing some tours down south and up north for sure. Um, just to just to spread the fan base, pretty much. And have you got any gigs that are coming up in the near future, or anything that you'd like to plug? <laughs> I'm really bad with like. Do you, do you know any dates? I'm uh, really... Or venues? Come on, they can Google venues. We've got our first anniversary gig at the. Lot. Oh, anniversary gig! That's nice, guys. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Which is down in Chevron Island, on the coast. <laughs> there you go. Um, we've got a. We've got a, we've got one in February. Maybe just jump on their Facebook and then that'll probably have the yeah. date, yeah. Just so search, search Electric Lemonade on um, on Google and it'll pop up with everything you need to know, yeah. yeah. It'll give you the links to anything you need to get to. Of course, Google, making the world go round. It's a great thing. Of course. So thanks guys, um, thanks for having a chat to us and obviously joining us here on Alive Live.TV. Looking forward to seeing heaps more of you guys and um, obviously having you back on the future when you're bigger and better. Beautiful. Thank thanks, I'm Jennifer and you're watching Alive Live.TV. Thank <laughs> you.